What is going on YouTube? JV World here. We're playing some more MLB 16. Gonna be really quickly starting a new battle royale run because I'm actually on my lunch break and I gotta get to work soon. And uh, I usually take way too long drafting. So let's see how quickly I can draft up a squad and get at least a game in. If not, I may just have to leave it for later. And right off the bat, our diamond round is pretty interesting because we have Ian Kinsler, Yadi, who I like, Clayton Kershaw's a 99. I have never used this A-Rod card. I'm taking this A-Rod card. It's going to be my first time using this A-Rod card. So that's pretty dope. Uh, and it's shortstop A-Rod. I only have third base A-Rod. I actually have no idea what the stats are like there. Uh, here we got a bronze round. We can definitely go starting pitching and get a lefty uh, in the rotation. Danny Santana is not a player I do not like. He has pretty good contact stats, and he's a switch hitter. It's really not a bad idea, but we have 13 bronze rounds. Why not take Danny Santana? We still have 13 bronze rounds, so we have plenty of time to get our starting pitching in there. Uh, but in this bronze round, we have Jordan Patterson, Brian Holiday, Jose Alvarez, and Sean Manea. We have two left-handed pitchers one's a relief pitching one's a starting pitcher uh, i'm gonna get a I'm gonna take a relief pitcher there because i do want to make sure i have a couple lefties in the bullpen here we got a gold round and we got alex gordon freeze dustin pedroia and gaylord perry not going with starting pitching here alex gordon is left-handed and has pretty good contact stats david freeze mashes absolutely mashes 58 vision uh, but you know what? There's a diamond in this round, and it's a left-handed bat in Alex Gordon. I'm going to go with Alex Gordon, also because I'm kind of flying through here. Uh, next round, we got Avisail Garcia, Chris Herman, Ryan Butcher, Ross Detweiler. Let's get another starting pitcher there. Left-handed. That's our first starting pitcher. Yep. My bad. Uh, Byungho Park, Chris Stewart, Matt Thornton, Ryan Vogelson. More relief pitching. Forget it. So now we got two lefties in the bullpen, so that's pretty good so far. Here we don't have the best of rounds. We still have eight silver rounds, so we're going to try to get that for offense. Might as well keep it going with pitching Cesar Ramos or a starting pitcher. What's our starting rotation look like? We have one lefty. We'll, we'll take a third lefty arm in the bullpen just in case. Here we got Avisayo Garcia again. Justin Morneau, Ryan Butcher again, and Henry Owens. What's Justin Morneau? Look like 88 contact with 79 vision. That's not bad. Uh, he can definitely be up in the lineup just in case. Here we got our gold round, and you know I love Robinson Cano. 91, but he plays like a 97. Justin Upton, Steve Chizik, and Tom Seaver. Don't want to waste my gold round on a pitcher. So yeah, one, uh, you know, Justin Upton, wow, crushes lefties. 32 vision is pretty damn bad. I'm going with Robinson Cano in my last gold round. Now we got a bunch of silvers, and man, I already have three lefties in my bullpen. But I can definitely go with Chris Sale, or I can take this Mike Moustakis, who's actually not that great. We got Matt Kemp, which I, I know is not, this one's not that great. Speed 70, that's not bad. Decent, pretty good contact left. Power right is pretty good. 31 vision is atrocious. Carlos Rondon, you know what? I'm going with Chris Sale because I, I, I just feel like I'm going to need lefty relief pitchers in this BR run. Here we have JPR and Sebia. Once again, shout out to the Static Gaming. Sammy Solis, Carlos Villanueva, Matt Duffy. I am going with the right-handed relief pitcher. Still got quite a few rounds to go, but we got a common round. Definitely taking a starting pitch in here. Not that it really matters. Brian Geyer, Chester Cuthbert, Austin Hedges, Manny Banuelos. Starting pitching who is left-handed. So why not? We still have seven silver rounds. So let's get pitchers out of the way as quickly as possible. Another bronze round, but here we do get a silver. What does he look like? Pretty decent contact stats. Uh, it's pretty average hitting, actually. Paulo Orlando, pretty average as well. Dominic Leon, pretty average. Starting pitching. All right, so here we go. We got a silver round, and we got Tyler Clipper, who's gold. Honestly, this not because he's gold, because you also have 
Brett Saberhagen, who's gold. I genuinely would love this card in my bullpen. Only 64 velocity, but this card is pretty damn beast. Cole Calhoun and Yadier Molina. I do not like this rookie flashback Yadier Molina. It's not that great to hit with. I'm going to go with Tyler Clipper here. And that'll, that'll be who I rely on in the bullpen pretty much every game that we play, if we play more than two games. And another silver round, and we got Evan Gaddis, who has decent power stats. Aaron Nola, nice break, Nick Castellano, very average player. And Sinsu Chu, flashback. This one's tough. But since Sinsu Chu is left-handed, I'm just going to take him anyways. All right, only got a few more rounds to go, but we got another silver. Uh, we got starting pitching, relief pitching, Giovanni Soto, pretty, pretty average catcher, and Michael Franco. Hopefully the, these are bench players, but I need one more relief pitcher, and I only have two players in the 80s, a couple 70s, so that's, that's perfectly fine. I just don't want to use silver. Uh, definitely not on starting pitcher, so you know what, let's take Joe Smith. Good velocity, right? All right, so here we have flashback Joe Maurer, who absolutely crushes right-handed pitching, but cannot see left-handed pitching whatsoever. Ian Kennedy and Gio Gonzalez, pretty good. And Anthony Rendon, wow, that's, that's not great. Plus, he's got minus today. Uh, I'm going to take this Joe Maurer and throw him up early in the lineup. Why not? Got a few more rounds to go, and we have Ryan Healy, Mike Montgomery, Andrew he Heaney, and Bud Norris. You know what? Since there, since I do want to take one more silver, and we do get a silver in a bronze round, might as well take that pitcher. And I believe we have three bronze and three silver rounds left, six round total. Flashback Matt Carpenter, 88 contact versus right. Todd Frazier, very good power, but not very good contact stats. Edwin Encarnacion, very flat all around, very average. And Jan Hervis, who's very average as well. Very good vision. He can play anywhere on the field, and he's a switch hitter. Honestly, for me, it's between Jan Hervis Solarte or Matt Carpenter. And Carpenter's decent enough against left-handed pitching, although he's only a left-handed hitter. And he's got pretty good stats versus righty. So this is a pretty heavy lefty-heavy lineup. And I do believe that A-Rod hits lefties and righty pretty well. few more rounds to go. Jorge Polanco, Brandon Geyer, Abraham Almonte, Colin Walsh. Where do I need some help? Why am I looking at bench? Let's look at the lineup. Don't need a shortstop. Since we're true in right field. Switch hitter off the bench. Very average stats, but can bunt, which doesn't help me at all because I am, unless it's a sacrifice bunt. I do sacrifice bunt. I, I will pull around early and sacrifice bunt and give you the out, but I'm, I'm not really into drag bunting. Um, switch hitter, switch hitter, switch hitting second baseman. Ugh. This is the toughest round I've had so far. Does anyone have 78 speed, 73 speed, 77 speed, 75 speed? None of these guys really offer anything. So I'm just going to take Abraham Almonte, switch hitter. That's pretty much why. Who is my catcher at the moment? It's that Joe Maurer card. So I don't really think I need another catcher in Brian McCann, although, oh God. Alan Craig, wow. Look at those contact stats, decent enough vision. Who's at first base is Justin Morneau. So you can definitely platoon him, as well as Mark Trumbo. You can definitely platoon one or the other. I'm going with this Alan Craig, because this card can hit. <laughs> Might even put him in the outfield. And here we go, we got Elvis Andrews. Don't really need a shortstop. Adrian Gonzalez is playing up to a 91 today. Melvin, a.k.a. BJ Upton. Edwin Encarnacion doesn't really entice me. Bench may need another lefty hitter. First base. Can you play anything else? No, you cannot. 88 and uh, 79 with 68 vision. You know what, Adrian Gonzalez, why not? Only two rounds to go, two bronze rounds, and we have silver in Eugenio Suarez, Aaron Hill, Brandon Belt, and Jimmy Rollins. Jimmy doesn't provide much nowadays. Brandon Belt is okay. Aaron Hill can hit lefties pretty well, and he can play second and third. Eugenio Suarez. 
know, I think I hit well with Aaron Hill last draft I had with him. So I'm going to take him anyways. And then we got Corey Dickerson, who I had last draft. Carl Crawford, last draft. Pedro Alvarez, who provides some power. And Brandon Moss. Crawford has 80 speed, I believe. I, I, I do need a little bit of speed just in case. So that'll work. Going to fix this lineup really quick and jump into the first BR game. Not, I, I have too many first basemen. All right, this is a really weird lineup. I know it, but Joe Myers leading off. Era hitting second. Robinson Cano batting third. Danny Santana's only batting fourth because he's a switch hitter. Uh, Alex Gordon batting fifth. Alan Craig playing right field, batting sixth. Matt Carpenter and Adrian Gonzalez at the bottom. I put Adrian Gonzalez there at the bottom for a reason. 88 contact, and for some reason, he's hitting eighth. That's crazy, right? Here we go. We got David Peralta leading off. Not sure if this is the kind of guy that'll bunt. Hopefully... It's not, and we're going to get an easy out to start to Robinson Cano. Very good start. We both got red uniforms, so that's awesome. Jonathan Scope up, batting 867. Hopefully that's not a trend in this game. And... Brought the corners in just, just in case this is actually something he's planning on doing. It's probably just a slash. And bringing the corners in may burn me because, yeah, I'm going to waste a slider here to change his eye a little bit. He reaches out for the pitch. 51 speed. A-Rod with the cannon all day. Good curveball there in a good spot. Got him reaching. 0-1 count. Need to, need to continue being smart against Ryan Braun or we're, we're going to get crushed. Wow, how do you even swing at that? 0-2 count, you swing at two terrible pitches. I am sorry. I am not going to get burned on 0-2. I'm okay with that pitch. Going to come back with some velocity on 1-2 and two up and in. Hopefully he's not expecting this pitch and we can K him. Super late on it. I'd be stupid to throw a fastball here, right? Wrong, because you know what? He's going to try to adjust to that fastball, and he's going to swing and whiff on this changeup. Sit down. Or, or he's going to smack it to right field for the first base hit of the game. I tried. Not a bad time to call a hit and run. Back to back pitches. I don't know why I didn't have a meter to throw that. That that really annoyed me. That was kind of scary, actually. I thought I might have pumped fake. Now we got Alan Craig. This would not be a bad time for him to make a change. You know what? I'll take my first base hit of the game right back up the middle. Nice base hit. All right, Matt Carpenter won't even get in that bat. We're bringing in Aaron Hill against the lefty. And there's a good two-seamer in. And that move made no sense as we ground out anyways. And Carpenter won't get in that bat. Change up in a terrible spot. And he smacks it into a gap. It's going to be a double for Beltran, but I'm honestly... Okay, I kept that pitch in the I kept that pitch in the uh, in the park, and I think we can get this next guy. Okay, let's give him a change up here. Great scoop by Cano. That is why I picked up second base Cano. We got two outs now, and now we have Eduardo Nunez, and we can force him to make a move here with Billy Wagner since Billy Wagner has shut us down. We have Billy Wagner up, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna make a change here. And with back-to-back -back lefties up, I'm bringing in Chris Sales to face Matt Adams. And I'm getting another lefty warmed up just in case. Matt Thornton. Do we have a... T oh, he's gonna, he may make another change. This would be a pretty good move. But then I'm just going to walk him too. So this may be a dumb move as a base hit is going to score two runs. But I'm walking Domingo Santana. And I'm going to face David Peralta. And this may be his last pinch hitter. Oh, we're going to face another left hitter, but Adam Eaton, probably a much better hitter against lefties than his previous hitter. I don't think he's been hitting my fastball. He's been sitting on it. And he hasn't been able to hit this slider either. Very good slot spot for that slider. Can we finish him with the two-seamer bearing in? Very late on that pitch. I may just go right back to it just to need a better spot here from Chris Sale. Much better spot. Can we get there in time? No, we cannot. That may cost us. 
Back to the slider away, hangs over the plate, but we're gonna get the out anyways, good inning. We got Robbie Cano. Let's try to hit a go ahead home run here. That was the pitch. That was the pitch to hit to right center, and I just missed it. And we're gonna chop it right to the opposing second baseman, and he throws it away. And we got a runner in scoring position. Can this be how we take the lead? And he's going to get me to pop up to Adam Eaton. Two outs, and we got Alex Gordon up. Just needed a base hit from Gordon, and there it is. Absolutely crushed it, and we're taking this lead. Just need to get three outs to get through this game. Perfectly timed that fastball inside, and we crushed it. Eduardo Nunez up with the being the tying run there. He's going to line out to right field, and that's going to do it for this game. Great win. We got a home run in the third inning. Absolutely amazing. Alex Gordon was a great pickup. Diamond in a gold round, I believe. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this BR draft and first game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, make sure you drop a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're new, and I'm going to take my ass back to work now. This screen, screen has been a problem all day. I'm going to be pissed off. Guys, thank you very much. Peace.